There are different kinds of sauces, but today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of the five mother sauces, the vegetarian tomato sauce, or also known as the vegetarian tomato pasta sauce. Tobin's How To, and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy and healthy pasta sauce that you can do at home. Here's all the ingredients, let me show them to you. We got extra virgin cold pressed olive oil, celery, carrots, white onions, spices, black pepper, salt, chili flakes, basil, parsley, eggplant, and this is optional, this is Thai eggplant. We just found it in the fridge and we just wanted to throw it in there before it got run. Assorted mushrooms, zucchini, fresh parsley, garlic, green peppers, orange peppers, red peppers, and red onions. Don't know why they call it that, because it's literally purple, unless I'm colorblind. And then we have tomato paste, crushed tomatoes, and a whole lot of plum tomatoes. Now I've showed you all the ingredients, let's get cooking. Let's put the olive oil in. All right, so we're just gonna start off with these three ingredients, carrots, celery, and white onions. So let's do it. Hopefully I didn't miss any on anything. Nope, I didn't, that's good. Okay, now I'll give that a little bit of a stir so it doesn't burn. All right, so now we're gonna add these spices to enhance the flavor of the sauce. Hopefully that's not burning. Nah, it's good. So let's do it. You just wanna add a pinch of each spice. We're adding chili flakes, and if you're like, you really like spice, you can add as much spice as you want. Whatever suits your taste buds, I guess. But yeah, you just wanna add a pinch, uh, not too much. Just pinch. That's it, that's all to it. And then after you're done that, give it a good stir. Hot! All right, so now that everything in the pan has been sauteing nicely, we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so now we're gonna add the two different kind of eggplants you don't really need this one. All you really need is just an eggplant. So yeah, let's get that in there. So we're gonna be using these now. Some assorted mushrooms, fresh parsley, and zookles. I call it zookles, because I like to. But it's zucchini. <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop. Okay, so now we're gonna add a good amount of garlic, I guess. Boop. It's starting to smell really good. Yeah. Okay, so we have our plum tomatoes here, but they are a little too big for the blender, so I'm just gonna chop them up a little bit with some kitchen scissors. You just wanna like cut it up just a bit so it doesn't get caught up in the blender we're using. All right, so I cut these all up to a pretty good size, so uh, I'm just gonna dump it in now. Good, give that a quick stir. All right, so we're just gonna let this simmer for a bit and right after we'll be getting blending with this bad boy. All right, so we have some extra vegetables here that we're gonna saute and add into the sauce after it's been blended to add some extra texture. All right, so now we're gonna do this really fun stuff, blending. But I'm gonna have adult supervision by Gigi here, just in case I rip my hand off. So hopefully that doesn't happen. We don't want your finger blended into the sauce. Yes, that will taste extremely bad. Uh, so let's go. Let's put it on. As you can see, when we blended the sauce together, 
it turned a little orange. So that's why we're gonna add these crushed tomatoes to thicken the sauce and also add a bit more red to it. All right, stir it up. Oh, that's a lot easier to stir now. Holy. So I personally like a chunkier past sauce. So that's why we're adding these diced tomatoes and sauteed vegetables into the sauce to give it a nice chunky texture. Okay, pour that in. That is splashing everywhere. All right, so now that the vegetables have been sauteed and a little caramelized, we're gonna add them in to the sauce. All right, a little fact for you to know if the pasta sauce is good and thick is you just put your spoon in and see if it stands up. And if it does, it's good. So now I'm just gonna pour a bit of sauce onto the pasta. It'll be good to eat. I'm just gonna finish up mixing it and uh, I got my friend Romario here and we're gonna taste pasta and see how it is. Sauce is on point. I'm gonna need like 10 points of this stuff. Eating healthy doesn't have to be complicated. It can be fun and easy just like we did. Once again, I'm Tobin, and stay tuned for more how-to videos. See you in the next episode.